I'm really good at writing poems. Come on, speak up. My goodness, keep calm. Is it egg and mayonnaise on a fresh white bomb? I'm f***ing gobsmacked at that, man. <laughs> Honest to God, that is really good. I know. Hello, hi, Angus. Hi, everyone. Come in, come in, Angus. <laughs> oh, no, look, I'm missing two nails and half an eyelashes off my eye, but just come in anyway, you know. <laughs> So um, today is going to be a really fun day. I'm going to tell you 50 facts about me. Facts you may not know, facts you may. It just depends how much you like me. I've got some facts down on my phone for it to start it off. I'll make this one. Two cups, Charlotte. Hold on, there's some water in there. First fact, my favourite colour is... Green. Green, I have. Green. So my favourite colour is green. Next fact, it's a good job my mum's here actually. My middle name is Letitia and it's a family name. My mum's called Letitia, my great auntie's called Letitia. Who else is called Letitia? My Tisha? auntie's called Letitia. Who else is called Letitia though? Um, Nana's Nana? No, there's a queen called Letitia in Spain I think. And we may be related. Hola, buenos dias. I don't think you're related to the Queen. Right? White toothpaste makes me feel sick. You learn a new thing every day about your daughter. I love smelling the pages of, of magazines books. and books and cards. So if there's a book like in the, the new, room, they have to be new, new, new. No, no, no. I can smell old. It's not an old book. I don't mind. Have you poured your coffee there? That was very not cool. It wasn't even hot. That was my cup of coffee that Jake just made us. Yeah, I was screaming about that. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. This is a good fact. So I had, when I was little, an eye patch <laughs> for my eye, right? Because I had a lazy eye, which I've still got a little bit now. And Doesn't it make you cry at night? Man, shut up. Don't you, go, don't you sometimes read and cry about the eye, like so bad, saying, saying how it's my fault about the patch and that you've got a bug eye, and you cry your eyes out and send really nasty messages. <laughs> Me mum didn't let niggas keep the eye patch on Should when I was younger. Did you keep the eye patch on? The doctor said take it off. Anyways, next fact, because I might cry. I like to drink gravy. Ugh, oh, I didn't want milk. Hey, I'm gonna, this is, that's for Angus. Oh, he's already got one over there. My first pet was a rabbit. We had a few actually. What was the rabbit called? No idea. This is a good fact. So when I was younger, I went to stage school. It was terrible. I had one friend called Alice. Hi, Alice. Good. I hope that you're a famous actor or something by now. With all of our stage experience. <laughs> so then there was an end of school, like, performance. Oh, that was great. Sharon So I was the tin man in stage school. Why did you send us to stage school? What, you want us to be an actor or something? No. I don't know. I can't remember. I thought it would be a good idea. I thought you had potential. Oh, I was the tin man in the play anyways, and I wore this big silver thing. And when I stood up to say my line, it ripped. Oh, did it? How do you not remember when you got there? It ripped all the way up the legs. I had to stay in my line and my whole leg was on shore. I'm so embarrassed. Next fact is, I bleached my bum hole. Did you? Well, Johnny Shaw bleached them. Have you bleached your bum hole, ma'am? No. I can't even see it. So your bum hole will be brown full of poo? Well, I'll wash. Right, next one. I actually really Don't love... Don't like that then. Ma'am, I actually really love to sing. Oh. Is fabulous. I actually thought it, it's going to be X Factor at one point, didn't work. Next one is I actually support Sunderland, not Newcastle. I'm not a Geordie, I'm a Mackham, but I don't really like football that much. I used to be in a band called the Naked Marchers. <laughs> Me and Natalie, that was our band. We used to make up all our songs. Do you want to hear your song then? Yeah. Natalie? No. <laughs> Do you know our song, Mr. Boogity Boo? Yeah. What did it go like again? What was oh, the beginning? I oh, I looked out the window, what did I see? Little old man, Sarah, back at me. Oh, 
Who are you? He said, I'm Mr. Boogity Boo. One, two, three, four. Pop of the funk, slam on the chair. Come on, Mr. Boogity Show. <laughs> do, 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 do. So I showed him my moves. And I showed him my grooves. I'm so glad I got these, got these new dancing shoes. I won the fight. <laughs> You just made the lyrics up. It's really good, Charlie. I know. I How did it ever come anything? Well, I've got loads more. The spirit's here. Here we go. Clap your hands. <laughs> just boogie. Don't be afraid to show your moves. Just boogie. Tonight. When the time is right, gotta boogie all night. Just boogie. 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 Tonight. Oh, yeah. Put your hands on your hips and do the dip. Go down low. Let's boogie! Yeah! And all the crowd start going, yeah! Boogie! And it goes back to the chorus. Well, anyways, that's that for the Naked Marchers band. I can't put it out of breath, I almost admit. I'm really good at writing poems. Really? Man, there's so much you don't know about it. I had to work a lot, you know, when you were growing up. So I am actually thinking about when I have a child bringing out a poem book. So there'll be illustrations. This is one of the poems. Oh, this is copyright, by the way. And if anyone steals it, I will. I'm not going to lie. I might stab you with a blade of grass. This is about two friends having a picnic in the park. Right. right? They're having a picnic and the, the illustration next to it is they both got the sandwiches out. Yeah. <coughs> two seconds. It's actually really good. If you had to guess the sandwich for me, how would it start? Or what could it be? Give me a clue, I hear you say. Okay, all right, because we'll be here all day. It's treasures of chicken and found on farms, on big farms. I've got it, I know, you throw around your arms. Come on, speak up. My goodness, keep calm. Is it egg and mayonnaise on a fresh white bomb? Gobsmacked at that man. <laughs> Honest to God, that is really good. I know. You've got more. I've got one more, but I'm scared to read it. In case people copy. When did you make these up? In bed the other night. Oh, so they're just recent this career? Yes. Oh. They're both so good, I wouldn't know which one to be. The sandwich one is fun, I think. Right, one of the questions, right, this is the next fact, this is a good one. One of the questions on Jory Shaw questionnaire, one of the questions were, what is your favourite flavour of crisps? And I wrote Walker's ready salted, because at the time it was my favourite, I just love ready salted crisps. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't hear you back for like three weeks, and I was like, it played on my mind that because I'd wrote such a boring packet of crisps, I hadn't got on the show. And I was thinking, oh, I should have wrote, uh, heat wave Doritos or pickled onion monster munch like and made it a bit more crazy so I was like I can't believe because of my crisp choice it's not got us on the show and then I realised I had got in the show and the only reason they asked that question is because they were wanting to know to fill the cupboards of food on celebrity juice this is another fact on celebrity ju juice you can actually get drunk so well that, this is if you if you're drinking because some people go on there pregnant but you have a drink under your table and you keep sipping it through the breaks and most of the time people are really drunk on there. When I was on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, the Australian version, I escaped the jungle because I hated it that much. I didn't enjoy it. Well, no, I didn't, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it, but it was hard and I just wanted to go home. So I climbed over the fence and ran through the jungles and all of the camera crew were running after us, but it never got aired and they bribed us to stay with a packet of nuts and a banana. This fact is juicy. Someone from Geordie Shaw shagged someone from Towie in a club toilet. Who do you think that was, man? Holly. <laughs> it wasn't Holly. But don't do any more guesses because we can't say who. Right, next one. My boyfriend has got a scar on his testicles. Why are you pulling that face, man? Why are you pulling that face? You want to know why? It's not a bad story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Granddad only had one. Really? Mm. He had, had How accidents. did you know that? Well, because he had a big accident in the shipyards. Right, well, I don't want to know about Granddad's one ball. Okay. They used to call him a two piece instead of three piece sofa. I love Mars bar cake. I 
I don't know why I think it's personally overrated. My favourite drink is water. True. True, I just love water. Water's Never my favourite. Pop my tree, don't don't like pop my fuzzy pop. Except when you're over. I have got a Toby Carvery gold, gold card. card. I've never been taken once. I think I've lost it actually, I must get in touch with them. And the last fact, and I've ended on a good one, me and the Geordie Shaw cast sat two rows behind Kim and Kanye West at the EMAs in Frankfurt. That must have been when they were dating, was it? Yeah. Well, it was many years ago. So that's the end of the facts from about me. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Please comment in the comment section with what you would like to see next. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. Love yous. Bye.